moving to our hosts. I'd like to invite on stage His Excellency Saad Sharid Al Kabi, Minister of State for Energy Affairs and the President and CEO of Qatar Energy. Welcome, Your Excellency. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Your Royal Highness, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to Doha for the 17th annual Jibka Forum. This is an important event that has grown over the years to become the flagship petrochemical event in the Middle East, thanks to Jibka's collective efforts. This is also the first time this distinguished forum convenes in the state of Qatar. I wish you the best of success in your upcoming discussions and deliberations. This year's event provides a valuable platform to discuss strategic priorities, such as driving operational excellence, advancing new technologies, enhancing production efficiency, and transforming our industry to a sustainable and future ready, if you will. In fact, no meaningful discussion of the energy industry can take place today without addressing the pressing environmental issues and concerns of many people, particularly the transition to a cleaner form of energy. Hence, the importance of this year's theme, mobilizing chemistry for impactful transformation. There is no doubt that for a, meaningful and realistic, for a meaningful and realistic transition, there should be a serious understanding of what needs to be done and what can be achieved. And in the face of prevailing emotional and unrealistic rhetoric, well, we all need to take a step back and seek common understanding of what can and cannot be done. The path of this evolving landscape should always lead us to equitable, secure, and sustainable energy transition that will help protect the planet while providing economic growth. In my view, to achieve this goal, we need to maintain focus on three important areas that are essential in enabling transition. First, greater investment in energy efficiency and low carbon innovation. This includes renewable energy integration, carbon capture and sequestration, low carbon solutions to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and the carbon intensity in chemical manufacturing. Other areas of importance cover optimizing resource use, waste reduction, waste management, and developing circular economies through improving recycling and reuse of material. The second is the political commitment. We need coordinated policies and incentives to support the petrochemical industry success. And finally, the third enabler is awareness. It is not enough, nor even fair, to put the onus on the energy producers. We need the real story to be told within our workforce, across societies, and among consumers about the critical role the chemical industry plays in bettering lives worldwide. Communication campaigns and educational programs to drive change, we need to make sure that all stakeholders appreciate our industry's immense value and contribution. In doing so, I believe we can achieve important progress to ensure that, the, that we meet the long-term aspirations we have set for our important industry. Since its establishment in 2006, Jibka has worked diligently to build a strong GCC chemical industry. Today, with more than 250 member companies from the chemical and allied industries, JIBCA is focused on dealing with the most important challenges and trends, impacting the use of petrochemical products. At the same time, it is placing greater emphasis on promoting energy efficiency, developing new energy sources, and delivering unique projects. Here in the state of Qatar, the growth and evolution of the petrochemical industry has been on a steady path of success since CAPCO's, CAPCO's establishment almost half a century ago. 
And with great effort by CAFCO, we take pride in building the world's largest blue ammonia plant that will produce 1.2 million tons per annum of blue ammonia. This plant will be the most sustainable facility of its kind. As part of this project, we're implementing CCS technology to capture and sequester around 1.5 million tons per annum of CO2. Furthermore, part of the electric power to this facility will come from a solar power plant currently under construction in Misaid by Qatar Energy. I'm equally proud that CAFCO is already the world's largest integrated single site producer of ammonia and urea with production capacity of approximately 4 million tons per annum of ammonia and 6 million tons per annum of urea, ensuring food security for more than 100 million people day after day. Qatar Energy, in partnership with Chevron Phillips, has recently announced the start of construction of two ethane crackers with a capacity of more than 2 million tons per annum each, one in the state of Qatar and one in the United States of America. They will be the largest in the MENA region and in the world, respectively, with an expected startup date before the end of 2026. These projects constitute part and parcel of a wide array of projects here in the GCC that our industry is embarking on to raise production, to meet the growing global demand as populations grow and as living standards rise. I would like to conclude by once again welcoming our industry professionals who we believe are more than capable to help stimulate the growth and competitiveness of our GCC industry. We are thankful to the great efforts of the GPC chairman, Mr. Abdurrahman Al-Faqih, and the Secretary General, Dr. Abdul Wahab Saadoun, as well as the dedicated team in, at JIPCA who have helped organize this event. I would like to also uh, express our great gratitude to His Highness the Emir Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, the Emir of the State of Qatar, for his wise leadership and continued support to the energy sector in Qatar. Thank you, and I wish you an enjoyable stay in Doha and a very successful forum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.